Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake, and what we're going to bake tonight is ginger snaps. These particular cookies are a little bit different probably than the ones that you're used to that come out with a, well, they're like, they're flatter, they're a smoother cookie. Uh, this is really a pretty easy recipe because those are the ones I like to, uh, I like to make, are easy ones. And uh, so let's get started. In a large bowl, you're going to be putting in three quarters of a cup of butter. And uh, you want to make it um, unsalted, unsalted butter, okay? So that was three quarters. This particular recipe is probably best to uh, use your stand-up and not your hand mixer, but due to the video, I'm going to use my hand mixer. Just beat that butter in your bowl, break it up, and the next thing you're going to do is put a cup of brown sugar. And break it up just a little bit. It has been sitting out a little bit, so the top got a little dry. Then just start beating that on high, combining it together. Once you do that, you're going to need a large egg. And I've also got one ready to put in, and I've had it at room temperature. And just beat that until it all comes together, and that you've creamed it all real well. The next thing that you're going to be putting in is molasses. And you're going to need a quarter of a cup of that into your bowl. I'm going to try to get it all out here. And then again on high, just bring it all together. Get to the bottom of your bowl and work both sides until it's all combined. Okay. And then with my spatula, I'm just going to clean the sides of my bowl. Alright, and it will look like this. Okay. Alright, the next thing is getting our dry ingredients ready. So we'll set that aside for the moment. In a medium sized bowl, you'll want to put two and a half cups of all purpose flour. You're going to be putting in a half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking soda, that was two teaspoons. You're going to be putting in a teaspoon of ginger, of ground ginger, one teaspoon of cinnamon, Excuse me. You're also going to be putting in a half a teaspoon of cloves, ground cloves. All right. And with a spoon or a fork, just mix that into your flour. <clears throat> Now let's go back to our batter and we're just going to start putting a little bit of flour in at a time and mix that in and beat it in I should say. I'm going to put a little bit more in. Now you're going to get about 22 cookies 
out of this recipe. You will need um, to have some granulated sugar and you're going to be using anywhere from, it could be a, a, a cup to a cup and a half, even two cups, it depends um, how much sugar uh, you're going to roll these cookies in. So anywhere from, uh, you know, one, one and a half to, to the max of two cups of sugar. Let me lower my speed here. I don't want flour to be everywhere. I'm going to put the rest of the flour to move this along a bit. You're going to need, of course, a pan to bake them in. And I'm not going to grease my pan or anything like that. I usually just align it with either parchment paper or aluminum foil. And I'm going to be using aluminum foil. Set that for a second here. Now, if you find that the uh, cookie dough is a little dry, you can uh, put just about a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of uh, of water if it becomes a little too dry. Okay, this particular uh, cookie dough though is very delicate. Um, it is very soft to work with, so you really kind of have to be patient with it. I'll show you that in just a second here to give you an idea. Um, it is. It's a very, very soft cookie dough. It's not real dense, you know. Uh, it's very light, but very soft, so it's quite delicate. Now, um, what you're going to do is, you're going to need a bowl, or you can actually uh, put uh, wax paper uh, on your uh, countertop, or a piece of saran wrap plastic wrap. Whoops. I'm just going to use a piece of wax paper. And uh, on the wax paper, I like to just take some of the sugar and just, you know, pour it onto the countertop. Now, you're going to need a rounded teaspoon of cookie dough. So I'm just going to use a regular teaspoon. So a nice rounded teaspoon, and what I like to do is I actually just uh, move it around in the sugar and then roll it into a ball like that, and then again just keep rolling it in the sugar and then your hands. You want to have it in the sugar at least about three times. Now once you have the cookie ball, just lay them about three inches apart. Let's do one more. Again, a nice rounded heaping um, teaspoon. And then just roll it in your sugar. Roll it in your hand. Roll it one more time. Shape it again. And on the third time, one more good roll on the sugar. Now, place them again, three inches apart. And also just take a pinch of sugar over the tops of them and they will bake up really beautiful. They're going to have a crackle top to them, meaning they're going to be a little, they have little breaks in them. Now again, you're going to bake them at 400 degrees, three inches apart uh, on your lined uh, cookie sheet. And they're going to take you anywhere from probably six minutes to eight and a half minutes. So do start checking them. Now there's one thing about this cookie though is that watch them closely but when they are done they're going to look like they're not baked properly. If you leave them in longer you will dry them out and they'll become extremely crisp and too dry and you're not going to enjoy them. So when they do bake up 
they're going to look almost like you think, oh, they need more time. Well, they don't. Uh, and I found with mine, they always took at least about that eight minutes. And some ovens do set up differently, so it could take that eight and a half. So here you go. I have some made to show you when they come out. Again, they will have that crackle top with that extra little sugar that we talked about, putting the pinch to it. And I'll break one open to show you. And they're nice and crisp on the outside, but on the inside, they're very delicate. And then they're that chewy, moist texture that you come to like in a ginger snap. So there you go. Ginger snap, very quick little recipe. I hope you like this one. If you do, leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.